Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary, where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Tonight we're going to be talking about Johnny Walker Black, a blended scotch whiskey that's easily as iconic as Jack Daniels, but considerably different. So I've already talked about Johnny Walker and kind of who put this all together and the whole history there over in my Johnny Walker Red video. So if you're interested, go watch that. But for this video, I'm gonna focus just on the black. Um, so Johnny Walker Black being a blend means that it is made up of uh, a bunch of different scotches. And in this case, about 40 of them. And they claim basically from all the corners of Scotland. And a couple of the major ones in it are from Talisker and from Kulila. So those are both actually pretty good whiskeys. So it's, it's pretty nice that this is made up of that. Um, there's really not that much more to say. Uh, it's, you know, a fairly basic whiskey. But the one thing that's nice is because it is a blend, if you're having this at home with me, it's going to be very similar to, to what I'm having here, if not identical. So let's go ahead and get right into the nosing and the tasting. All right. You'll notice no, uh, no cork. All right. So let's nose. So being 80 proof, this is uh, not extremely, you know, there's no burn kind of when you nose it. So um, feel free to kind of inhale deep and uh, see if you can pick anything up. So for me personally, I'm getting, um, you know, it's kind of like florally, like, you know, flowers and, and it's, it's definitely like some honey going on there, but I'm not really getting too much more. It's, it's not very complicated on the nose. So why don't we just go right into the tasting? Cheers. All right, so the way that I would probably describe this best is almost a little unfair because as I said, it's not really complex, but like I almost want to say it's watery, but it's not watery. It's just very light. And um, there's really not a lot going on there. There's definitely like caramel notes, which you know, typical. Um, there's a little honey and uh, you know, there's actually like a little hint of like, maybe like, like dark fruit, like uh, I think like black cherries or like raisins or plums, things like that. Um, Outside of that, not not a ton going on. But the, the thing is, if, if you're watching this video, you're probably like one of two people, right? So you're either my typical watchers who are just interested in whiskey reviews or you know information or whatnot, or you found this because you're looking to go buy your first real whiskey. And uh, maybe you're you know just out of college and you're ready to graduate from uh, Johnny Walker, or, sorry, Jack Daniels, and you're looking for something a little bit better. So. That might be how you found me, and if that is the case, I very much encourage you to go buy this. Um, personally, this was my first bottle of scotch that I ever bought as well. Uh, not this one, obviously, but um, and I've clearly come a long way since. So I think that this is a great starter, and more importantly, if you're having people over for a party, let's say you're like 40 and you're just throw throwing a party, and uh, you you know maybe having people over who don't really love whiskey, but you kind of want to like add, you know push them towards it. This is a good one to have on your shelf because people are willing to try this, especially when you tell them it's a little mild. Um, anyway, so that's that's about all I really want to talk about here. So um, outside of the whiskey, there's a couple of other things I want to bring up. So first off, um, due to the generosity of one of my patrons, I'm going to be buying Johnny Walker Blue very soon. It was one of my goals on my Patreon page, and I'm actually looking really forward to it. So I'm going to be doing that in a couple of months because ideally I would like to kind of go through the whole <laughs> rainbow of Johnny Walkers in order to get up to the blue. And I would like to do that, but without just hammering you guys with Johnny Walker over and over and over again. But we'll see how that plays out. But while talking about the Patreon thing, I, I don't want you to turn away because this isn't just another guy on YouTube kind of talking about Patreon and donate and whatnot. Just if you're one of my repeat, one of my repeat viewers, I want you to think about what this channel is to you. If this is something that when it shows up in your subscriptions, you get excited and you really want to watch it, you know, maybe consider donating. If this is very informative to you, maybe consider donating. Or if you just want to see me be able to afford like way nicer whiskeys, um, you know, like actually one of my goals on Patreon is to buy McKellen M, which is somewhere around like five grand or so. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to be getting that much per month. That's silly, but 
ultimately, like I, you know, I save all the money that I get from Patreon, and when I hit that goal, that's what I'm planning on buying. So, I would like to buy some really cool stuff, and frankly, like I can't afford to drop 5k on a bottle of whiskey at the moment. Anyway, so if you're at all interested, please check that out. Really consider donating. Anything you give helps. So, outside of that, there is one more thing I'd really like to bring up. Uh, about two years ago, actually, it was, I think, March 16th, and my last video came out March 15th, of course. But on March 16th, I put out my very first video back in 2015. So my channel's been around for a little over two years, and I'm actually really proud of it. So you may have noticed, like, last last month I put out two videos, and that is kind of going to be my standard going forward, if not more. I finally have a little bit more time and you know I really want to do at least a review and then like an informative video uh, every month. And if I you know do a third or fourth video, they're gonna be a little bit more long form. Like I have some plans to go visit some local distilleries pretty soon. And based on how those go or you know if it kind of comes out well, I'm gonna post those up on the channel as well because I just think that that's a neat thing to do. So I wanted to give you guys just kind of for a lack of a better term, term like a state of the union of what my channel is going to be doing and i'm really excited about the future because i have no reason to stop this i really enjoy doing it so i hope that you enjoy watching it and i i'm starting to notice that i'm getting kind of a bit of a following and i'm loving it um i wake up most mornings to emails in my you know on my phone and you know this person subscribed this person subscribed usually like four or five six people a night and uh you know that's not counting what i get during the day so like the channel is really growing and it's really really motivating to me so Lastly, I really want to thank anybody here who is watching the channel um, for you know the support and all that, and and for really motivating me to to do this because it's a fun hobby. Um, I enjoy it, and I'm hoping that you're getting something out of it too. So, um, until the next time, I hope you have a great night, and thank you for watching the Whiskey Dictionary. Cheers.